Welcome to day nine of 12 days of transit in New York City. For day nine, we are going to explore the shuttle trains. If you've ever looked at train lines, you'll see the different colored circles with the name of the trains, the ACE, 456, but there's this S. And have you ever wondered where the S train is or what is it all about? Is it the same as the other trains? New York has several shuttle trains. There's one in Brooklyn. There's one in the Rockaways. It connects the Rockaway Beach to the A train. And there is one here in the middle of Midtown Manhattan. It's from 42nd Street all the way to Grand Central. I've probably only ridden the shuttle once. I've never taken it from Grand Central. And that's where I am so I'm going to look for it and see what it's all about. I find it interesting that there's a shuttle from 42nd Street to Grand Central and back, but there's also a train that services these stations. There's the 7 train. The difference is the 7 train has a stop in between, that's Bryant Park. And depending on where you're getting off, it could be easier for you to just get on the 7 train, endure that extra stop, than having to walk to the shuttle because the shuttle is kind of tucked away. The thing about the stations in New York are that there are no maps. <laughs> The subway has been functioning for over a hundred years and there are no maps. You just kind of have to follow the signs, understand what's uptown, what's downtown, where you're headed, and go from there. So you're just traveling in a maze that you can't see the bird's eye view of. And fortunately, I didn't have to walk very far going down the stairs to catch the shuttle. And I find it interesting that the shuttle is so long. You would think a shuttle would only be two cars, maybe three. I don't know, it's several cars long. It even beats the G train. <laughs> the G train is a very, very short train. And if you want, I have a video all about the G train. And if you want to check that out, link is in the description below. Oh my gosh, this is a really long shuttle. Are there that many people shuffling between Times Square and Grand Central? As you can see, there are no seats or hardly any seats inside the shuttle. It's okay, it's only one stop. super fast ride. It was probably a minute, maybe a minute and a half, minute and a quarter. Depending on where you're coming from, it is quite a walk to get to the shuttle, but it could be right there, it depends. And it's a fast way to go in between those two stations. So now I'm at Times Square. I'm just walking to the Times Square station. There's some cool art here that I wanna see. That's the shuttle for you, at least the shuttle between Times Square and Grand Central. My question to you is, since there is a 7 train that services these two stations, do you think the shuttle is useful? The shuttle, this Midtown shuttle is useful? I myself don't use it often, so I don't know just how useful it is, but maybe there are some of you out there that use it on a daily basis. Comment down below. The shuttle that I mostly use is in the summertime, the shuttle from the Rockaway beaches to the A train. So that's a wrap for day nine of 12 days of transit in New York. If you've missed any of the previous videos, a link to the playlist is in the description below. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you won't miss the future videos of this series. And as I said before, it's the holiday season. I have some great merch for gifts and stocking stuffers. There's a promo going on and also Patreon YouTube members get 15% off. If you want to be a patreon or youtube member check out patreon.com slash urban caffeine or the join button of this channel with that thank you all so much for watching and until the next video which is tomorrow happy new yorking